So once your application is submitted and approved, you can start transacting right away. Today, I'm going to show you how to log into the Authorize.net sandbox and walk through a few different ways you can start processing eCheck transactions with little to no development effort required. You can create a test account by going to developer.authorize.net in order to try this out for yourself. I'm going to show you a few methods of accepting eCheck payments that work well if you don't already have a website set up or have limited access to development resources. If you are looking for a solution that is seamlessly integrated to your e-commerce site, you can also work with your shopping cart provider to get eCheck set up or work with the developer to integrate our APIs directly. I'm going to start by showing you Virtual Terminal, which is the simplest way to submit an eCheck transaction or process a credit against a past transaction within the Authorize.net merchant interface. If you want to process an eCheck transaction, you can simply click here on Charge a Bank Account. All you have to do is complete the required fields in the Payment Authorization Information section and click Submit to process your transaction. Virtual terminal is especially useful for taking telephone orders or entering prearranged payments where you already have prior written authorization from the customer. Another really easy way to accept eCheck transactions is by adding a buy now or donate now button to your website using our simple checkout tool. You can use our simple checkout solution to quickly create buttons for up to 100 different items on your website. Here we're going to add an item. For each item you want to list on your website, you can use this tool to create a button that contains the item name, product ID, description, and price. I'm now going to add an item here called Lawn Services for $50. You can now copy and paste the HTML here directly onto your website to insert the Buy Now button. When the customer clicks the Buy Now button on your website, here's what they will see. The customer will then be able to pay for the item via credit card or bank account, which is eCheck, and complete their purchase from your website. Since we mentioned earlier that one of the most common use cases for eCheck was for processing recurring billing transactions, I'm going to show you our recurring billing tool within the merchant interface. You can use this page to create new subscriptions, manage your existing subscriptions, or track payments on subscriptions. If you already have a customer's agreement to authorize a payment along with their bank account information, you can go here to create a new subscription to build their account. You can select the subscription interval, start date, and set a trial period on this page. Once you have set up your subscriptions, you can view the payment status for active subscriptions from the main page here. You can see that here for subscriptions that I created earlier, the customer has already been billed for their first payment. Finally, I'm going to walk you through our invoicing solution. We are going to create an invoice and send it to a customer for payment. You will need to enter the customer name and email address where the invoice will be sent. In this case, we are going to invoice Chip $40 for watching my demo.
As a merchant, you can require payment in full or select allow partial payments at the bottom here to allow the customer to make multiple payments on the invoice. Now we will send the invoice to Chip. Chip will receive the invoice in his email within a few minutes, and he can click on the link within his email to complete payment on the invoice. After Chip has paid the invoice, I will then be able to view the payment status within the merchant interface. As you can see from this page, some of the invoices have already been paid, while others have not. You can also use this page to resend or cancel an invoice. Lastly, you can view the transaction we processed today in the virtual terminal within transaction search. You can see this under unsettled transactions on the left navigation. Here you'll see that I have two transactions that I processed today that have not yet settled. By the next day, you'll be able to see these transactions within the reports tab as a settled transaction. I'm going to show you a transaction that I processed yesterday.